guys, so the video is going to just quickly jump into the makeup look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the James Charles palette for this look. The shade I picked out was the Pinkity Drinkity. It's a super, super light pink shade. As you can see, it's like hardly visible on my lid. But I am placing it on the uh, crease just because it will help blend out the next pink shade that we'll be adding into our crease. So I'm just help putting it in there for assistance. So the next shade I'm going to use is Skip, which is a super bright pink. Um, I'm just slowly building this up into the crease. I don't want to be like super heavy handed with it. So I'm just building it up slowly and then I'll go ahead and make sure all the edges are blended. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with a darker pink, which is in the shade Love That. And this one I'm putting in the crease, but a little bit lower um, than like my crease just because I want that blend between skip and love that um, I want that hot pink in the top of the crease and then that dark pink in the crease and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease <laughs> I've said crease like 15 times but I'm gonna use my L'Oreal infallible concealer in the shade eggshell um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead with a wet and wild flat brush and cut my crease Okay, so um, after I finish cutting my crease, I'm going to bring out my Kylie Jenner Chill Baby palette. This is a, her palette from the her holiday collection from 2018. And I'm going to use the shade Jingle Baby, which is a super pretty, sparkly, light pink shade. And I went ahead and sprayed that with my Milani setting spray. It's called the Make It Last setting spray. I, I love that setting spray, but I uh, sprayed it on just so it's a little bit more frosty and pigmented and then I'm going back in with love that and I'm just applying that into the crease trying to deepen up the crease and also blend the jingle baby shade into those other pink shades and then I'm going back with the little shader brush and just making sure that jingle baby's blended with love that So I just did the other eye off camera and I'm done with both eyes and now it's fun. Time for the fun with the colored liner. I'm using Clean Color Along the Lines Liquid Liner. Um, this d liner doesn't really have a shade. It's just like their pink shade. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and apply that as regular liner. This liner was actually a little hard to use but I still really love the shade. I think it's so beautiful so I'm like willing to use it. But I'm just going to do a regular winged liner with this liner. So I actually went ahead and put my lashes off camera, um, which will be linked down below. Everything that I used on my face, especially my foundation routine and all that, will be linked. Um, will be in the description box, and then items that you can find online will be linked. But I went ahead and went with uh, Skip, the bright pink color, and I'm just putting that on the lower lash line. Um, I don't want the lower lash line to be too ex uh, excessive, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then also apply Love That, the darker pink, just a little bit on the outer corner of my lower lash line and then that's pretty much it for the lower lash line. And now for some lipstick, I'm going to be using the Kathleen Lines and ColourPop Zodiac Collection lipstick in the shade What's Your Sign. It's one of my favorite lipsticks I own. 
Um, I love Kathleen Lights and Color Pops collabs all the time. You're going to see that I use her collabs a lot, but I love her so much. But that's just a nude lipstick I'll be using. And then for gloss, I'm going to be using another Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. Um, this is the Dream Street uh, Lippy collab. And this is in the, the gloss in the shade Moonchild. This is my favorite gloss ever. But it really is. Like, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect nude. I'm going to go ahead and quickly apply highlight. I'm using ColourPop uh, Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Flex Flexitarian. Really pretty frosty highlight. And that's the look, guys. Okay, so what I paired to wear with this makeup look is this cute little bodysuit from Rain Boutique which will be linked down below. This is a new Thank You Next bodysuit. It is so beautiful and I paired it with these H&M embroidered flowered jeans that are so gorgeous. And also with some nude heels, strappy heels. This bodysuit is so cute and so feminine and it's perfect for a cute little date night if you guys are going out to eat at a restaurant or something. Um, I really love this bodysuit. Also, you can use code LEX for 10% off on all Rain Boutique orders. Hey guys, so I'm back with another look. <laughs> So for this look, I'll be using the Zodiac palette from Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I'm going to go ahead and go into the shade The Taurus. It's just a really nice uh, transition shade into the crease. And I'm just going to slowly blend that into the crease with a Wet n Wild uh, blending brush. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer again. Um, for this look, I'm going to try to cut my crease and then kind of like wing it out at the end. I actually had a super hard time. I used a different brush than I usually do and I think that's probably why. I'm also not the best at cut creases. So I was really struggling and you can see my cut creases at the end aren't the best. I'm still practicing. I'm not a super like... You know, I'm professional or anything. I just do makeup for fun because I love to. I love makeup and I love to do it. So yeah, <laughs> that's my explanation for my horrible cut crease. But um, after I've cut my crease, I'm gonna just go ahead and set it with uh, a just a co compact powder. I didn't use like any eyeshadow or anything. But I'm just going. I'm just setting it with a powder. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I couldn't like re think about my words. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other eye, which I struggled more with, by the way. <laughs> My cut creases in this video and this look wasn't the best. So once I'm finished with that, I'm going to go ahead and go with a liquid li uh, lipstick, not liquid liner, but a liquid lipstick that we'll be using as liquid liner. This is the ColourPop and Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. <laughs> oh my god i can't speak hello kitty collab in the shade ribbon and i'm gonna go ahead and use this as eyeliner um i'm gonna just apply it as regular eyeliner with an eyeliner brush i feel like this is a really good tip if you don't have any colored liquid liners just use some of your liquid lipsticks that you have and not only that but you can mix them together to find like your perfect shade and stuff like that for your liquid liner is a cool little trick or tip I mean it's not really a trick I mean anyone can do it but yeah and then I'm gonna go in with some glitter liner I'm gonna be using the
I'm gonna be using the okay honestly I cannot read the brand but I found this liquid liner or this glitter liner at bomb beauty which will be linked down below and you can find these glitter liners in her store I honestly cannot read the brand that it says on the packaging but I actually really like this liquid liner although the top did break I think this glitter liner is really pretty and the red liquid lipstick up, uh, under it just emphasized it so beautifully. So I'm going to go quickly apply some mascara so I can apply some falsies. So I'm just applying some falsies here, which again will be linked down below as always. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix the Virgo and the Taurus together and apply this on the lower lash line. Just kind of giving a little bit of smokiness but not too too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop another collab. But this is the Twinkling Lights collab and I'm going to use the lipstick in the shade Lucky Star. This is the perfect red. It is so gorgeous. Like, so gorgeous. Literally the perfect bright red. I love it. But that's the end of the makeup look. Okay, so what I paired with the red look is a Rain Boutique set this is the crazy in love set and it's literally the cutest set ever it's definitely more sporty so if you guys are doing more like a picnic date it would definitely work out for something like that it just is so cute so sexy and feminine and awesome i love it and it will be linked down below and don't forget to use code lex for 10 percent off